So today I have a short tutorial for you and in this video I'm going to show you how I usually drag and drop files into my smartphone or send files from my smartphone to my PC. So there, there might be several instances where you would want to send files into your phone but you don't have the USB cable or you don't want to use a USB cable or the slow Bluetooth. So in this method we are going to send files wirelessly from um, our PC to my smartphone and uh, we can do the reverse. We can send uh, files directly from uh, my phone to the PC. Now the good thing is you don't need to make any setup. You just only need to have Ducto R6. This is a very portable application which is made just for this. So you can use this software to send files between PCs, uh, between a phone uh, that's a, a smartphone and uh, a PC also. The good thing is so you can just drag and drop files but you'll have to be connected within the same network. So this is the software. It looks like this called uh, Ducto R6 by Emanuel Colombo it's a 9.4 MB in size as of now maybe you'll have an update in the future I tried looking for the official website for the developer I didn't get any so I'm getting them from third-party suppliers I'll put the link to this uh, website in the description box so this is where I'm going to get mine I trust this website so it's totally free so you don't have to have any liability once you download it's uh, free to use so I'll click on download start download so this is a zipped folder i want to open the folder so this is the archive we downloaded i right click on it and uh, i want to extract it we have the folder we open it Dr. R6 and this is the application that you are interested in of course it has some other files this uh, they will help uh, the software to run and uh, if you run it for the first time it will give you a notification about the firewall it will be very advisable to allow it through private and public networks so you just check on those two boxes and proceed it has this interface and those people are connected with the same uh, network or the same wi-fi they will appear here so that when you are drag and dropping your file you can be able to see exactly whom you are sending the files to so on recent these are the files you've received and about you can make a donation to this developer because I believe he did a very very good job so once you're done setting up uh, your path for your files your received files which is here you change the folder you can even change the color let's uh, let's go with the uh, blue so we are done now we go to our smartphone so remember you'll have to have Ducto in your PC and uh, your smartphone for them to work once you are done opening Ducto in your PC then you go to your phone and I presume that by now you have installed it in your phone you can google Ducto R6 APK and then go to your most trusted source and uh, install it from there so you go to your phone and uh, look for Dr. R6 open it up now we now have a new user in our bodies this is my phone in my PC I'll see my phone and in my phone I'll see my PC and uh, let's try to see whether we can be able to send a file to our phone so you simply click the file that you want to send and then you drag and uh, drop to the specific user you want to send so in my case I have only one if I let's go the mouse you can see they will just will be sent within seconds. Let's go and see where the file is. Doctor. And I, I believe this is the video. So I now want to send files from my phone to the PC. So what you do is on the phone you click on the specific user you want to send to. In this case I want to send to Moses. And then you have several options here. You can send text, you can send text from clipboard, you can send files and folders. So in my case I'll use the third option. You can navigate all the way to whichever folder you want. So let's send the video back to the user. It's actually fast. It's really fast. We didn't make any setup like a pairing. We didn't pair anything. The only thing we need to do is just open the software in our PC and also in our smartphone. And uh, you can now locate the users. So you can select among them the person you're going to send the file to. So thank you for watching the video all the way up to the end. I hope I was able to help you with something. And also if you've not subscribed, kindly do so because I have so much coming up.